Salut! That is hello in Romanian and if you are here watching this video it's because you're probably thinking about visiting Romania and you are in luck and we have you covered because we just spent five weeks traveling throughout a beautiful country and in this video we're gonna share everything that you need to know from like cost, travel tips, a lot of local recommendations and a bunch of useful information that we hope helps you plan your perfect trip to Romania. So we have to start by saying that Romania is incredible. We almost ended up there randomly but we're so happy that we did. It's a country that has amazing food, cool history, the friendliest people and like a very diverse set of like attractions to check out mm -hmm. so very very worth it you're gonna see all of this in this video you want to get started yep let's start Romania has 12 international airports and we landed in the biggest one in the capital city of Bucharest also important to note there are no visa requirements either for Americans or even Venezuelans so getting in was easy peasy no problems there now it's time to talk about our first stop Bucharest surprise we had no idea what to expect and it's a great city to learn about Romania's history it has beautiful architecture all over the city you can try a lot of traditional foods and honestly the city is huge and has a lot to offer but we think that the best part of Bucharest is outside of the old center yeah exactly it's a very cool city to explore but if we're being completely honest which we always try to be it wasn't exactly our favorite city in Romania but it's one that you like have to visit it's very mm -hmm. cool to visit it's very interesting but we just, based on our travel style, prefer some of the other cities in Romania. Yeah, exactly. So we spent five days in Bucharest and then from there we headed to Brasov and Brasov was love at first sight. We tried Romanian foods, like a lot of Romanian so foods for the first time. And oh my god, Romania's food is incredible. So mother. <sighs> so this is one of Romania's most iconic dishes. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because the waiter just said like something else completely different than what we tried to say. So these are basically like cabbage rolls with mince meat and pork inside. And they smell incredible. And the way they serve them here is like with like a polenta puree on the side and sauerkraut. And they give you the sour cream because you're supposed to build. Oh my gosh, look at this. As I was saying, <laughs> you're supposed to like put a little piece of bacon that comes on top with some herbs and sour cream. Oh my gosh, I think this is gonna be amazing. There's so much yes in this. It's minced meat with like some pilaf, some rice. And it's delicious. Like you can barely taste the cabbage. It's mostly like about the meat. And the sour cream is so different than the sour cream in the US. Like it's not that strong. This is and obviously the bacon is delicious. And we've noticed that most of the like animal protein that you see here in Romania, it's pork. Ah, so good. Romanian food for the win today. Mm. From Brasov, we rented a car and we visited two very famous castles. The first one was Brand Castle, also known as Dracula's Castle, which we thought was a little bit overrated. But then we drove down to Belash Castle, which is like a $120 million summer home from like the first king of Romania, and it was absolutely spectacular. We made a video comparing both of these castles, so you can check out what both are like, and we're gonna link it either here or somewhere over here by Amada's head. Also, there is another castle that a lot of locals recommended in the comment section of our videos. It's called Corvin's Castle and you guys maybe consider checking it out as well. We visited both Bran and Pelish Castle on the same day and we do not recommend that you do that because there can be a lot of traffic from one to the other and we were caught up in traffic for like two hours and we almost didn't make it so keep that in mind and that day ended up for us in Cortea de Argus because on the next day we drove one of the most beautiful drives in the world and this is something that you have to do when you go to Romania. Mm -hmm. The famous Transfagarashan. This road is famous for a reason. We're about to witness some of Romania's most beautiful landscapes, glacial lakes, and hopefully one or two surprises. Bears. We want to see bears. stopping every five minutes it's impossible not to it's so pretty 
with the clouds coming through the mountains. I feel like it's going to take like 12 hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they're right there. Oh my gosh. Look, they're right here. <laughs> Come. Come here. I think we're getting to the part that's famous for the hairpin turns and the switchbacks. So hold on for your life. Ready? <laughs> Woo! See how this little hybrid dominates the road. <laughs> We ended our Transfagaracian drive in a beautiful city called Sibiu because it marked the beginning of an amazing eight-day road trip. We have three stops. The beautiful medieval town of Sigishwara, a Romanian village where we're going to be embracing rural living, and the city of Sibiu, which is where we are right now and that we're going to explore together today. We got here last night and this is our first time exploring the old city and already this place is so so beautiful like we're just walking in the piazza mare the large square and it's just like surrounded by cafes and all these old like historic buildings that i think were like merchant buildings and they have like little squinty eye windows and like the top of the roofs it's very very cool to see and i think Sibiu is supposed to be one of the coolest medieval cities in all of transylvania we only have 24 hours here so it's time to start exploring So we managed to leave for Airbnb and we came to the town center and just look at this behind me. This place is so cute. We can't wait to show you guys around tomorrow. But right now we're super tired and we're gonna have dinner. And I'm so happy. Our Airbnb is so cute. We have the best animals, the best hoes, fresh fruit. We'll show you all of that tomorrow. But now we're gonna have dinner and I'm just gonna like a here. Frolic. It's just like a place that you just like jump. Look at all these flowers. This is so cute. Sigishwara has so many cute like artisan shops with like beautiful ceramics and like coffee mugs and jars and stuff for your home. So if you're shopping here, in, I mean in Romania in general, like they have so many cute things, you will go crazy. I wish we had a home, but we are in the hunt, on the hunt for a magnet and a coffee cup. And then Mr. Picky here is... You have to find the perfect one. Yes. That's just true. Ready to go? Yeah, let's hit the road to... Baraot. Baraot. The Romanian village. So our first stop today is we're going to the local blacksmith to see what a local blacksmith does. And then we're going to make chimney cakes, which in Hungarian is called Grichkolac. Yeah. Very difficult to pronounce. So now the, he will heat up the, the piece of metal, uh -huh. that's first step. Oh, thank you, uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. We march for the army. So we can remember him, maybe. Valiza la gare. Valiza la 
That was so special. What's cool about this accommodation is that because we're in a little village, they seem to like highlight like all the activities that are done in the village. And what makes me really sad is that he's the last person in the village that does this. So this makes it extra special that we got to to spend some time with him. I hope I wish we spoke the same language, but yeah. that was very nice. He was so sweet. We're off to start the most delicious activity of the day. We're going to be making this Hungarian dessert called Kurtish Kolash. Nailed it. That's probably not how you say it. I'm going to put the name here. It translates to chimney cake and they are delicious. We already tried them a couple of videos ago. And I can't wait because I love learning how to make new things. And let's see how it goes because they seem pretty difficult to make. So. Yes, yes. The kitchen is that man pesa la mano. Now she do Use your muscles. Yes. Where you add the love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the yeah. fire. Fire. Yeah, good. Fire. <laughs> good. And now it's the fire it goes. Okay. 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 Our road trip through Transylvania was amazing and actually driving through Romania was one of my favorite things about visiting that country. The highway system isn't like super developed but it's all in very good shape mm -hmm. and either way it's just like really nice to get lost in like the small villages and see how people live in these like rural towns. It's very very nice. Also if you want to follow our itinerary through Transylvania we're going to have a PDF in the description below so you can click it and do what we did. Yeah, it has all the details, all the links, everything you need to know so you can do the same road trip that we did because it was awesome. After the road trip we took a train to a city called Targo Muresh because we needed to catch up with work and we also wanted to visit a very unique place called the Turda Salt Mine. We're going down 400 feet below into the world's only underground theme park. We're talking about ferris wheels, underwater lake, bowling, all 400 feet underground. Down there. It's crazy. This entire tunnel is salt. It looks like we just entered a whole different planet. We just came down to the main level and it keeps going down, we'll show you, but like the first thing you see here is like a ferris wheel, an amphitheater, ping pong tables, a, like a little playground for kids. You guys have to see this place, we're gonna have so much fun today. I feel like a kid, this is so cool. It keeps going down and it keeps getting crazier. We're going to floor number 13, to a lake, to get on a boat, 400 feet underground. It's crazy. crazy. It's even colder down here. It's so, I was gonna say it's so cold. How is this even possible? Now it feels like a theme park. <laughs> now it feels like a different planet. Yeah. It's like people canoeing on the moon. From the town of Targu Muresh, we took a 10 hour train north to a city called Seget Marmetse in the region of Maramuresh. We learned that there are basically two types of trains in Romania, and we got this information from locals who left comments on our videos. So, thank you, locals, for leaving those comments on our videos. It really helps other travelers. So, first of all, there is the R train, the Regio train, which I think is like a long distance train that is much slower. So, that's the one that we took to Seget Marmetse. It stops a lot in yeah. the little villages. So just enjoy it. Enjoy Look it because the, the stops are awesome. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. We really, really liked it. And the other type of train is the IR? Yeah, so the Interregio. I think this goes between like more 
popular bigger cities, towns. bigger cities, and it doesn't stop as often in the little villages, so you go there much faster to your destination. Yeah, that is what most people use, but we took one of the slow ones, and it was one of the most memorable rides that we have ever taken, right? It was so beautiful. What we did it was, was look day. out the window and enjoy the views. So if you have time, we suggest you that you like go for and it. wave to the people. Yeah, it's it really was cool. cool. You can also take buses to get around in Romania. We did it like twice to get between like two like lesser visited cities and it was cheap, affordable, on time. It's also like a little bit unofficial so you have to like go to this website that we're gonna put here and see what like the schedules are. But it was nice, we had no problems. Yeah, it was very easy. They're always next to the train stations based on what we observed. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned before, our first stop in the Manamunich region was the city of Siget. This is a beautiful and quiet little city right next to the Ukrainian border that a lot of international visitors don't visit, basically. Yeah. But it is very cool. It's filled with like, a lot of interesting history. We learned a ton about like Romania's communist past and some of it was super intense. So our first stop today is the memorial to the victims of communism and the resistance. We haven't really spoken much about Romania's communist past since the Bucharest video, but right now where we're standing was one of the most well-known political prisons in like the 1950s during the first dictatorship after World War II. All of these names here were victims of communism and people that fought during the resistance. It's very intense. I think the old prime minister, the first prime minister of Romania, he was held here and he died here. Religious leaders, professors, like any political opponents held in this prison, many never made it out. This place is intense. There were basically two famous communist dictators in Romania. I don't know if famous is the right word, but anyway, most people know Ceausescu, but before him in like the late 40s to the mid 50s was a guy named George George Dej. I also don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he's the one that was in power when this political prison was kind of like imprisoning all the people across Romania. So he was super, super evil, super paranoid. And he was the one in charge when all of this stuff was happening in Romania. And like most people forget about him, but he deserves to be recognized in history because he was a total ass. It says here that 600,000 people were arrested and sentenced to imprisonment during the communist period in Romania, so from after World War II to 1989. But the terror reached its peak in 1948 to 1953, so that was under George George Dej. We also tried a lot of delicious foods in Siget, and we really enjoyed being somewhere that not a lot of tourists like visit. And from there, we also took a day trip to one of the coolest places in all of Romania, the Mary Cemetery. Today we're challenging our beliefs about death. We're in the town of Sapanza in northern Romania. Welcome to the Mary Cemetery, guys. This might be the happiest cemetery in the world. Well, sort of. We'll explain. Okay, so we'll start with the obvious. So all the tombstones in the Mary Cemetery are painted this bright shade of blue. It's also known as Sapanza blue, and again, Sapanza is the name of the village where the Mary Cemetery is located. And also, what is much different from the tombstones here is like there's engravings of how like the person lived or died, and a little poem that also like ironically states like how they lived or died. It's not like the West where it's all like gray and somber, and like the messages on the tombstones are very like generic about how the person lived. Here, it's like no, this person was an alcoholic. They cheated on their spouse. They died in a car accident. They died in an explosion and their face got like ripped off. Much, much different. From the Mary Cemetery, we went to the beautiful village of Breb, which was like going back in time and actually it was one of our favorite stops in all of Romania. It is so beautiful and interesting and different. You have to visit Breb. What's up guys from Breb, this is an awesome little traditional village in the heart of Maramuresh County in Romania and the reason why this place is so special is that coming here is like going back into time. The people that live here still hold on to like traditional values and customs and ways of life. I love that we're here. This is Breb people, welcome.
One of the things we find so incredible about Brev is just how self-sustainable this community is. So most of the homes here will have one of these barns like you see behind me, where they keep like livestock, like cows and pigs. Usually this time of year, like the chickens and the sheep are still roaming free. But I think especially the cow is like essential to their lifestyle because it provides like dairy every single day. So like the butter, the cheese, etc. Especially in the cold winters, it's very, very important. You wouldn't really notice the cows when you're walking around town because they don't really like roam freely. But like when you're just like walking past the bars, you'll hear the moo. You'll see like giant piles of cow crap. <laughs> but very cool to see like just how like self-sustainable they are, right? That's so much different than like what we're used to when we live in Chicago. We didn't produce like a single thing for ourselves. Maybe basil. <laughs> Barely basil, like one little basil plant with like a few leaves, but... Did you get one? Why are you filming this? <laughs> it was about to get worse. There's about to be some dog humping. Stop it. Everyone's very intrigued. <laughs> oh, that is the closest that we've been to. Uh -huh. Are we get, are we are we winning your affection? I don't think so. Unless oh, I like pears. Do you like pears? You're gonna piss Kalut off if he doesn't get that pear. Hey, 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 hey! hey. Hey! 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 No! Who the f Things get pretty real on the farm, people. <laughs> Kalut's like, what the f? This is Kalut. The sheep. He loves pears, and he's terrible too. Hmm? Yeah, she's like, we're just having a relaxed day at the farm today. I sit in the hammock, he's gonna pet me all day. Sweet little Bella. And last but not least, Cluj Napo. Cluj was the perfect place to end our trip. It's like a university town, so there are tons of like bars, cafes, like really nice restaurants. It's just like a cool place to like hang out. There aren't like a ton of sites to like overwhelm you. You just go. Go with the flow, have some beers, have some Bay drinks. Bar, like hang be, out with the locals. The Everyone's really cool there. If you see our video, you're gonna see like my really bad joke about it, but I'm not gonna tell you again. You have to watch the video. But it was a perfect place to end our trip. Huh. We had a delicious goodbye dinner. And yeah, it was the perfect way to say goodbye to beautiful Romania. We said goodbye with Sarmale. Mish, again. the second time you say Sarmale. <laughs> no, I'm very hungry too. <laughs> This next part we are going to read because it's a lot of locals recommendations so so far we have shared like 11 or 12 Romanian videos and people in Romania have been so amazing and helpful and they have left so many recommendations that we basically have our next trip like plan like we know where totally to go planned. so some of the places that people have recommended the most I'm gonna read them here I apologize that I'm gonna pronounce them terribly but I'm also gonna write them in text so you take notes so Suse Ava, Bukovina Timisoara, Oradea, and the Danube Delta. So consider visiting those places too because locals' wrecks are the best wrecks. So if you know us, then you know that we like to make recap videos at the end of our travel series. And in these videos, we like to share costs. So after five weeks in Romania, we have a very detailed breakdown of all of our costs in the country. First of all though, I want to mention that Romania uses the leo as their currency, plural it's called lei. So even though it's in the EU, they don't use the euro as their currency. And right now, one dollar equals about 4.75 lei. I'm going to read this next part. So for Airbnbs and hotels, we average $47 a night and we got like really nice places for the mm -hmm. most part. So your money goes a long way when it comes to accommodations. This was mostly Airbnbs, but just a couple hotels in there too. For food, we average $33 a day for the both of us. This includes eating out and grocery stores. We sometimes like cook at home. And very important, it also includes alcohol. You can get three liters of beer in Romania for like $2. Yeah. For activities, we spent $192. And this were about like 13 different activities. And this includes like the entrances to the castles, which were like the most expensive ones. A couple museums, palinka tasting a couple activities here and there, but nothing too crazy, $192 for 13 activities for two people. 
Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. For car rentals, we rented cars on three different times. The first one was for eight days and we paid 35 euros a day and 63 euros in gas. The second time was just for one day and we paid 38 euros and spent 15 euros in gas. And the third time was for three days and we paid 35 euros a day and 19 euros in gas. This is also something unique about Romania. You do have to pay cash for a lot of the rentals and that includes for the deposit. Yeah, so it's taking up cash. Yep. For Ubers, we took about 15 Ubers for a total of $101, which is not bad at all. And we took the bus twice, as we mentioned earlier, and one time we paid $6 per person and the second time we paid $9 per person. So pretty affordable too. And last but not least, Romania, thank you. Thank you so much for being the best. You will always have a special place in our hearts. If you guys have been following for a while, you may notice that our Romania videos got a lot more views than we usually get. And this past month, like our channel has grown so much. Thanks to the people of Romania supporting our channel and subscribing and commenting and watching our videos. And we owe you so much because we struggle to make these videos in Romania. We, our channel wasn't like in a good place and we almost gave up. We're happy that we didn't. And we can't thank you enough thank you thank you so much for supporting our channel so as you can tell we love romania romania is incredible so if you have any doubts about visiting this country don't have them anymore no. visit romania yeah. the most difficult part will be finding where exactly to go because there's just so much to see and yeah. we'll have to go back to go to all the places that yeah. all the romanians recommended to us romania is like one of those countries that you go back to mm -hmm. yeah Anyways, thanks for watching all the way through the video. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and we'll be very happy to answer them. And probably the Romanians that watch our videos will also be happy to answer your questions because they're awesome and they answer everything yeah. and they want everyone to have a exactly. great time in their country. So don't be shy and ask. And if you want to know more about any of the places that we mentioned in this video, I am gonna leave our Romania travel series link here so you guys can watch that next. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you have watched the videos already, thank you for being here. We will see you guys on a plane to Portugal, which is our next travel series. Thanks for watching. Bye. La Rivera. La Rivera. Romania. We love you. I don't know how to say I love you in Romanian, but. I love you. Te amo.